Hello everyone, Ozzy Mitza here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you the next instalment of my Evolution Solution series. In the last episode, I made a bit of a joke video for April Fools where I analysed and compared Magikarp with Gyarados. I've recently expanded this series from comparing unevolved Pokemon with Evilite and their evolutionary counterparts to comparing similar Pokemon not necessarily belonging to the same evolutionary line. To familiarise yourself with the series as a whole, you may check out the playlist I've placed on the iCard on the top right hand corner of the screen, but if you have them turned off for whatever reason, I've placed a link to the playlist in the description below. Today we're going to be taking this series that little bit further. We're going to be looking at Kyurem Black and Kyurem White. Let's start with normal Kyurem. Like most legendaries, it is not known to evolve or have any pre-evolutions. It is a dragon ice type, meaning it is weak to fighting, rock, steel, dragon and of course fairy, whilst resisting water, grass and electric. A pretty decent typing, although all of its weaknesses are pretty common. It only has one ability, in pressure, which raises your opponent's PP usage. Its stats aren't half that bad, with a whopping 130 in both its physical and special attack, base 90 in both of its defences, and a base 95 speed stat, and also a base 125 hit point stat. Through level up, it learns a lot of good special moves like Ice Beam, Dragon Pulse, and Blizzard, but also has some nice physical moves like Outrage. If I were to run a normal Kyurem set, I'd run the following set. Run any speed increasing nature like Hasty or Naive, but of course Timid if you're opting for a special set. Pop a choice scarf on it to ensure it's able to outspeed more Pokemon, because a base 95 speed stat isn't bad but it isn't fantastic on its own. I'd run the following set. Dragon Pulse and Ice Beam as its main stab moves, Flash Cannon to cover its rock and fairy weakness, as well as any other move of your choice like Earth Power that you previously got access to in Auras. In terms of the EV spread, the bare bones of it would be max special attack and max speed. But if you want more power, running Draco Meteor over Dragon Pulse is a good idea, seeing as you're scarfed, so you're probably going to be switching it out a lot in case you go up against fairy types that will take no damage from dragon type moves. If you're scoffed and don't fancy the timid nature, Modus is also a safe bet too. Let's move on to Kyurem White. Although Kyurem is not known to evolve into anything, it does have two forms, and first we'll review Kyurem White. In order to obtain Kyurem White, you must use the DNA splices and fuse Kyurem with Reshiram. It has the same typing of dragon and ice, however it does have a different ability which is Turbo Blaze. It's such a unique ability, there's none like it. Moves can be used regardless of your opponent's ability. For example, being able to use ground type moves on a Pokemon with Levitate. It's not like we have Mole Breaker or anything. Kinda like huge power and pure pa- Never mind. Anyway, the stat distribution for Kyurem White is quite different to normal Kyurem. It has a base stat total of 700 and has a fantastic base 170 special attack stat. It does take a bit of a cut in its physical attack in exchange for a bit more special defense. Overall, the stat distribution is much better. What we can see from here is that Kyurem White's special stats are superior and interestingly through level up learns more useful special moves. Most notably at level 43 it learns Fusion Flare, a 100 base power fire type move, which is incredible. It also gets access to Ice Burn over its counterparts, which is an ice type move with a base power of 140, however it does take two turns to take effect. I mean you could run it with a white herb, but I don't feel utilising your item slot, just for this move is worth it in my opinion. In terms of a moveset, honestly you don't need any more special attack, but we need more speed, so I'd definitely opt for a timid nature here. I'd run the following set, pretty standard but effective. Fusion Flare for the raw damage as well as covering your steel weakness, Dragon Pulse or Draco Meteor as your main stab move as well as Ice Beam, and I'm a bit biased, I'd run Flash Cannon just for reliable coverage. However, if you're not too bothered about speed and want to use Kyurem White as more of a special wall as well as hitting hard, you can go modest, remove the Choice Scarf in exchange for an Assault Vest for vastly superior special defense, whilst causing considerable amount of damage to your opponent's team. Moving on to Kyurem Black. In order to obtain Kyurem Black, you must use the DNA splices and fuse Kyurem with Zekrom. Again, it shares the same typing of Dragon and Ice, but has the same ability as Kyurem White, only it's called Terra Volt. Like, seriously, why? Kyurem Black excels on the physical side of its stats, excelling in physical attack and physical defense, whilst its hit point and speed stats remain the same as normal Kyurem and Kyurem White. Interestingly, through level up, it also learns more physical moves. One of the moves it learns that the other forms cannot is Fusion Bolt, which has the same base power as Fusion Flare, only it is an electric type attack. Similarly with Kyurem White, it gets access to the physical counterpart of the move Ice Burn called Freeze Shock, which is an ice type move with a base power of 140, however again, it takes two turns to take effect. The main moveset I would run would be Outrage, Fusion Bolt, Stone Edge, and as for the last move slot, I really really struggled. In Auras, it was able to learn Iron Head via the move tutor, which was awesome, but if you're unable to obtain Iron Head, a non-attacking move like Protect could go down really well to scout what your opponent will do next. 
However, even though it's a physical attacker, its special attack isn't to be sniffed at, so if you still wish to run a stab ice move, don't be afraid to run ice beam, as its base 120 special attack stat is still fantastic. Here I would run the naive nature with max attack and speed with a bit of special attack investment, if you do choose to run ice beam. I'd give Kieran Black the Lumberry so it can cure itself from confusion after using outrage, or if it does get burnt by pesky will-o-wisp users. Although Kieran Black is better on the physical side of things, I thought of a set that would make it a perfect all-rounder. Pop an assault vest on it so it makes this guy physically and specially bulky, go max attack attack, max speed, opt for any speed increasing nature that doesn't compromise its physical or special stats, like hasty, and run the same set and you're good to go. Reviewing the three from an analytic standpoint, they are fantastic Pokemon that would pose a massive threat to your opponent. In terms of their move pool, I feel Kieran White got the best end of the deal, as although Kieran Black does learn a lot of physical moves, its lack of access to a viable physical ice move is slightly disappointing, but makes up for this by still having a decent special attack stat to run a mixed set. In terms of their abilities, I would say they all have good abilities. Turbo Blaze and Terra Vault acting like Mold Breaker is pretty nice, especially if you choose to run any ground type moves for those pesky levitators, and Pressure has always been a useful ability that is often overlooked. In terms of their stat distribution, we can see that Kieran Black excels in physical attack and defense, Kieran White excels in special attack and special defense, and normal Kieran's physical and special attack are the same, with a base 130 as well as its physical and special defense at a base 90. However, in my opinion, I feel like Kieran Black has a the best stat distribution, as it can make use of an assault vest to be physically bulky whilst increasing its special defense. But it can be argued that Kieran Black would struggle more in competitive play due to Willow Whispers, Pokemon with Intimidate, and being reliant on its assault vest, which can be negated with knockoff or trick. It can also be argued that its lack of physical ice moves that doesn't take two turns to set up is a massive drawback. Overall, though, I can't really fault any of them. They're all great Pokemon and can be used well in their own right. But if it were up to me, I'd run Kieran White, only because I prefer special attackers. What about you guys? Which of the three do you prefer? Be sure to leave a comment below stating which one you prefer and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And on that note, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave this video a big thumbs up as that really helps me out, as well as subscribing to my channel for more Pokemon related content. And with all of that being said, I'll see you guys very soon.